included with the seminar information is Facebook sizing because it's very specific to make it really easy about what size image goes into your cover photo. It's specific. There's an area here that's cut out for the, the button, the call to action button, your description, the company name, your profile image. So if you had a picture, again, going back to your cover image, you have a picture of yourself with your for sale sign, which is what I think is a great idea to have up here. And then the for sale sign is hidden behind your profile image and you're up here. So Rico now says you're not compliant because the profile image is hiding the address and the brokerage name and everything else. So you wanna make certain that you fit in, your image is the right size and it fits within the place. Now there's a downloadable PowerPoint template in the resources that are available to you where you'll be able to just drag an image in there it has cutouts of the area that's gonna, Facebook's gonna cover up. So you'll be able to put it in there, resize it, make it whichever way you want, and then just save that as a, as a JPEG and use it on Facebook. So it really made it easy for you to size a cover image quickly. So we can find that? Is it in the... If, as long as Tanya has your email address, you'll get this right after the seminar. I'm gonna send the email out before I... We before just copy and paste it in the place. The instructions are fully there, yeah. And then for posts, it's got, we have an idea of what size images work best. You gotta keep in mind that Facebook is through apps on a variety of different platforms, desktop, everything used differently. But if you're following the standard size images, everything will view properly. It won't be too small, it won't be pushed to the side where someone can't see the funny part of the picture or, or what have you that you want to bring up to attention. That, those are in pixels, right? Pixels, yes. And then if you're on your desktop, nice handy shortcut, you might even want to punch that out, print that out so that you can just click, 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 get to different areas of it. Facebook says, there, well, this particular seminar that I got this slide from said Thursday, Friday, but Wednesday, Thursday are the number one, number two days. This is very generic information worldwide, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., activity 9 to 7. My own, my own experience is Wednesday, Thursday, generally between 7 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. is our highest activity. So after you're posting watch your insights see where that graph is going so you know when you should be posting it'll give you an idea over time what type of content to post when aim for wednesdays thursdays to begin with in the evenings that'll give you the even if you're doing just one or two posts a week those are the times to target to see some results growing through your page and then we just have a bunch of links and this is it the end of the seminar Certainly, I'll take questions. We, we need the page, company page, and this project that comes up with our company, we want to add it to our company page. So, what, where is the link for this one? How should we find the links? That for the, you mean like for the pre-construction projects for stuff yeah. that's come up? As the projects are released, you, you have all the images that are there. They're all available through the, the agent dashboard through, through Wolf Connect, mm -hmm. so all that Images, so all that stuff is there. How could we transfer the information? Should we make a link to our company page from Facebook that they can relate to this? I no, you would have to download the images and information from your agent dashboard and then re upload it to Facebook. I'll be able to supply information as far as how to do that starting with the next uh, project. Hopefully I have enough advance warning that I can size the images properly because a lot of the developer images are just too big. They might be yes. six, eight megs. They're, they're too big to post to Facebook and then the size is really wonky. Generally I try to cut them down to social media size mm -hmm. so that you can deal with them rather quickly. This person for me, I want to target these three constructions for my company because I don't want different, different things. I just want to no. focus on some yeah. certain area. So I was just wondering how should before yeah. I start the page, I want to aim, you know, to guide, you know, yeah, to yeah. target that kind of part of the people, whoever, yeah. investors. And yeah, things. and yeah, and with every pre-construction project, we work on having web-ready images, so they're sized appropriately, as well as descriptions that you can use either on your 
on your social media or your website or what have you, or in, in an email to clients so that you have something that quite literally two hours after the project is released, you have something you can work with rather than having to go to a graphic designer to have everything resized or have something written. We, we aim to do that every time. Exactly, because we don't we have only friends from Toronto, we have friends from all over the world, so investor right. can target, that's why yeah. I'm just thinking, before I start, I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, oh definitely, yeah. Yeah, we're doing our best to make certain you have the right materials when you need it. Because even, sorry that I'm just taking your time, but when I go to our not website, Wolf Connect, yeah, it's like, I don't see that investors yet, because Manu told us a few weeks ago that the new boys are working on it. We have holidays, we have uh, buyers, everything, but I don't see any investors yet. Any it may, it, he hasn't discussed it with me yet, so it may be something on his table right now. I'll remind him on Monday okay, to follow that up. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Let me share a couple of experiences about this. Uh, one of the most common questions that uh, I think comes about Facebook in general is that I have hundreds or sometimes thousands of friends and likes. Why am I not getting business out of Facebook? Uh, there is something established in real estate and in in traditional real estate when I started in 2003 and it applies today uh, but just the medium has changed the fastest and the best way to be successful in a short time is through circle of influence how many of you are familiar with circle of influence if you're not there is a book uh, written million millionaire agent I think it's a red cover book. It's, it's everything about circle of influence. Uh, basically, what you have to do, and this applies even till today, so, or what I used to do, that you will build first, especially when you're starting, a list of people that you know in your past life, whether maybe you were the place that you were working before, the school that you were going, the pharmacist that you know, the doctor that you're going there, the list of professionals that you know. And then over time, you will try to impress them with the material that you will mail it to them. At that time, I'm talking in 2003, 2004, 2005. So today, instead of using the mail and using the phone calling, basically Facebook will be the best tool to use to nurture that relationship. So. Instead of making friends the entire world, people as Robert was mentioning from Russia to Europe to North America, you can do that. Of course, your personal life is, you can choose to be friends with whoever you want. I'm talking about your real estate business. What you have to do are the three actionable items which I'm going to tell you what to do to be effective. I mean, right now, with so many tools and so many options available, we are confused. I'm trying to bar uh, narrow it down to give you three items to do. So number one thing you have to do, sit down and prepare a full list of people that you know. And I'm sure I can guarantee you that you will come with minimum 100 people. And these are the people that are not necessarily buying from you, but they are the gateways to the people that might be interested to buy from you. So that is the mindset shift that you have to accept, right? So these are not necessarily people <coughs> buying from you, but they are gateways to referring you to other clients, okay? So the list could be long, as I said, it could be the tailor that you go, the dry cleaner that you go, you name it, right? The second thing that you have to do once you have prepared that list is try to find them on Facebook and try to friend with those people. Now, this is bringing you from a virtual world that is up in the sky to things that are uh, happening on the ground, right? These are people that you know you might meet, you might go to a function and see them and so on and so forth. So, Instead of having thousands of people as your friend, which you're free to do, pick 100 people or a couple of 100 people that potentially you're going to meet face to face in your daily activities or weekly activities or monthly activities or community activities or going out or you have seen them in your 
in, in your previous workplace and so on and so forth. So number one, prepare a list. Number two, make those people friends. Now, of course, there are so many uh, content that you can share, as Robert said, but I want to uh, pick on things that are really s strongly effective, and that is uh, making your own videos. I know a lot of us are not feeling comfortable to be in front of camera. Uh, sometimes it is due to language barriers, sometimes it is due to lack of confidence, sometimes it is not feeling comfortable to be in public speaking. Sometimes if you're playing our own video, we don't sound that great and we are kind of feeling not comfortable listening to ourselves. Whatever the, could be the reason, find a way to break that barrier. I'm telling you that videos are the most effective way to get your message across on Facebook and otherwise. Uh, so uh, if you can prepare short videos that could be about real estate or, or it could be about life or it could be about you uh, being um, you travel to Mexico and you're in a, uh, one of those nice places and you have just taken a short video to show that you're enjoying your life it could be about anything but videos are things that people watch more most instead of I mean of course you can write articles you can post articles but videos are the most effective I want to say something so that this is stick in your mind. When we are selling real estate and when we go to a, a mortgage broker, what, do you know what is the first thing that they do to, to see if they're eligible to buy this house? You guys, you have, you have all bought and sold houses, right? At least you bought your own house. Do you know what is the first thing the mortgage broker does? Income? The score, yes. They check your score, and as soon as they see the number 680 or higher, they are celebrating because this is an easy client, right? In the world of Facebook, you establish your credit score with every posting and every activity you have. It starts from zero when there is no activity. Remember, especially people that are coming new to this country, one of the first things that they suggest, go get a credit card so that you can build your, your scores, right? And they start from scratch. When you start the scratch in Facebook, you start building your credit score. So everything that you post establishes your credibility. And the higher score you have, the more people will trust you, and therefore the more they will refer you. So to go back to my original point, Sir, this Facebook could be the best tool to establish your circle of influence, to nurture your circle of influence, to keep connected to your circle of influence. You don't need thousands of people. I'm very confidently telling you that having thousands of people to like your page and be your friend is not the most effective way to go. Pick the people that you think you can work with, people that can potentially like you, people potentially that you can impress, and they exist in your world. When I say they exist in your world, that they can influence your business. You're meeting them, or potentially you will be meeting them, or you, can, you will be coming across them, or it's, a, it's the guy that you go and cut your hair every month, and you're potentially going to meet and converse. But you're using Facebook to impress them with your postings. So when you're going to cut your hair, you're not going to talk about real estate and you have a short time to impress them, but if they see your post every day, maybe the third time to, you go to him and visit him, you'll say, I see your postings quite often uh, on, on Facebook. What do you think of real estate market? Or I have a, a cousin who's thinking of buying. How about if I gave you a number? Do you mind if I share your number with him? You know what I'm saying, where I'm coming from? So real estate, sorry, uh, Facebook is the best tool to nurture your circle of influence. So quickly to say this again, prepare a list, find them on uh, uh, Facebook, and video is the best tool to connect with them. So uh, if, you, if you follow those, instead of like trying to do everything for everyone, it will be more effective. Thank you. Thanks, thanks Thank for doing you. Thing, yeah. okay. uh, just one question, videos, how long a video, uh, should it be 10 minutes, five minutes? Uh, <laughs> the shorter, the better. Correct. Of course, there are. Uh, I have seen some studies that people don't mind to see a up to a couple of minutes. Couple. Okay. Ideally, 45 seconds 
less than a minute is ideally better. But of course, it depends on your message. If it is a if it is a serious and within quotes boring <laughs> message, yeah, then the shorter it is, the better. Yeah, yeah. But if you can create fun and people are willing to watch, then it can be up to a couple of minutes. Thank you. Yeah. But ten minutes, I would say, is too long. Just a non, non Facebook question. Sure. Uh, sure. Can you integrate the Connect World calendar into your personal calendar? Because most of the time I forget what's when, right? So I just want to have all those. I'm not actually sure. I don't know what the. If they have an API for that, if you send me an email, I can find out on Monday okay. if there's options for it. I know that they were talking about like a, a Google crossover for it, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, yeah. If you send me an email on Monday, I can look into it. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? You're free to leave the building. Thank you. <laughs>